This is a great time to journey through an LP collection, just to sit with albums and enjoy the covers, enjoy the sleeve, uh, the lyrics, um, the photographs. Uh, the album always had such a great impact on me and uh, so many of us who grew up in the 60s and 70s, uh, going to the record store, uh, Tiger's Records, you could buy an album for, uh, I think it was 487 plus tax, came to an even $5 that was the way to buy music. Uh, so uh, I'm glad I still have all these. Pat Benatar, Precious Time. I think I uh, have shared one or two other Pat Benatar albums. Uh, she really she really knows how to rock. Uh, Precious Time is on here, Promises in the Dark, uh, Fire and Ice. Uh, so uh, lots of good uh, Pat Benatar rock tunes on, on this album as always. I just love this album. It's Alison Moyet, Alf, and she uh, was part of the duo Yaz uh, of that famous song, Don't Go. Uh, she went off on her own. She has this uh, kind of a, a, a smooth alto voice and a real powerful voice. Uh, this is a little more dance oriented in, in places, but uh, just good pop all the same. Love Resurrection, uh, Honey for the Bees, one of my favorite songs uh, by her, uh, "Twisting the Knife." Uh, it's just a it's a well written song and uh, uh, nice layers to the production, and uh, it really uh, has great vocal layers. So, uh, Alison Moyet, Alf, ah, the Cure, the Head on the Door. This is my favorite Cure album. I'm not a, a true uh, well schooled expert in the Cure. I have four or five of theirs. Uh, I think this one is still the cure in their, their dark days, uh, kind of that uh, dark pop that uh, they were so good at um, creating back in, uh, back in their early days. So uh, In Between Days, Kyoto song, uh, The Blood, Six Different Ways, Close to Me is on here. That was, I, I guess, the hit from that album. But start to finish, that's just a great album and it really holds together well. Oh, I just love this album, The Dream Academy. Uh, I uh, I just took a chance on this. I think it's their debut album. It has that uh, song Life in a Northern Town on here. Another great song called The Love Parade, uh, but really nice pop. It's, uh, I guess you could call it Beatlesque. And uh, it, I, I'm such a fan of music with layers and textures. And uh, this this has a lot of that. Uh, great singing and nice uh, full harmonies and uh, uh, multi-instrumentation. So uh, I love that album by the Dream Academy. I still listen to that pretty regularly. I think I've shared one other Prince album, uh, but I also have, uh, I think this is Pop Life. Is that the name of it? Um, but uh, this album has um, Around the World in a Day, Raspberry Beret, Pop Life. Uh, some uh, great songs on there. Prince, uh, I always loved his uh, upbeat tunes. I didn't so much love the slow tunes, the slow groove, but uh, uh, Prince uh, could really bring it. So love that album. Uh, okay, I gotta admit, uh, another Culture Club album, Color by Numbers. Um, I think I was in the seminary when this came out and uh, I uh, enjoyed the humor of Church of the Poison Mind. I just thought that was uh, funny. I think I felt rebellious listening to it. Uh, I think Karma Chameleon is on here. Yeah, uh, good pop. It's uh, you know maybe one of those guilty pleasures, but a lot of great pop that they turned out in those days. An early Styx album, Equinox. I think this is actually my brother Kevin's album. He uh, loved this album. This is an awesome album. Uh, Light Up, Lorelei, Mother Dear, uh, Sweet Madam Blue. That's uh, one of the few uh, rock songs I was able to play on the guitar. Uh, it's a, a B minor bar, and then you pull your, your bar finger away and you hit a bass note. And um, It took me a long time to figure it out, but uh, uh, Sweet Man in Blue is sort of their epic tune. Uh, I got a B-52s uh, run here. The B-52s Whammy. Uh, this was, I think, their third or fourth album. Uh, Legal Tender, Whammy Kiss, Song for a Future Generation, 
Um, every B-52's album just has uh, a lot of humor to it, and uh, they're uh, just so much fun. Great party band, great music to dance to, uh, no matter what. So I'm just counting here, that's eight. Uh, another B-52's party mix. So uh, this uh, took some of their more popular tunes like Dance This Mess Around, uh, Party Out of Bounds, uh, Lava, uh, and uh, just did some extended versions. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of uh, uh, longer versions of songs. I'm usually a three to four minute song fan, but some of these versions are actually pretty good. Uh, okay, one more, another Fix album. I love this album. This is the first album by The Fix that I bought. Uh, I think they had really cool album art uh, for this album and several others. Uh, it's uh, kind of this uh, um, eerie figure. Um, it's, uh, it's very svelte and uh, colorful, but uh, it's also abstract at the same time. Anyway, uh, one thing leads to another, Saved by Zero, um, uh, Changing, Opinions, Reach the Beach. I played this album a lot. Uh, it was, I think it was 1983, because it was my first year in the seminary. This album really was my go-to album uh, in that year. Uh, it's, uh, again, it's just fun to listen, uh, to, to remember those songs and uh, what they sustained me through and how they inspired me.